In today's story joke, we tell you a hilarious tale about a nun. All right, picture this. Nuns, those holy rollers who dedicate their lives to spiritual service, living in cozy little spots called monasteries or convents. They're like superheroes with vows of poverty, chastity, and obedience, ready to tackle life's challenges, armed with prayers and kindness. You'll find them across different Christian flavors, Roman Catholic, Oriental Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, Lutheran, Anglican, and even Presbyterian. And let's not forget the Buddhist tradition, where they're called bhikkhuni, extra vows included. Now, joining the sisterhood isn't just a walk in the park, it's like a spiritual boot camp. First, you've got the postulancy phase, a trial run for six months to two years. Then comes the novitiate, where you live the nun life without the official vows. After some soul searching and a wardrobe change, it's time for temporary vows. And if you're really feeling the nun vibes, you go all in with the perpetual profession, those lifelong vows. But hey, being a nun isn't just about praying and playing dress up. There are some big responsibilities too. If you're elected to lead the pack, you're either an abbess or a prioress, or you might just be called Mother Superior, which sounds like a title straight out of a superhero comic. And let's not forget the fashion. Traditional nun attire includes a tunic, a scapular, and of course, that iconic veil. Some even rock a massive rosary on their belt, because why not add a little bling to your spiritual journey? But wait, there's more. After the Second Vatican Council, some nuns decided to ditch the old school habit and go for a more modern look. Talk about a wardrobe makeover. Buckle up, folks. It's time to fasten that safety belt nice and tight because we're about to embark on a roller coaster ride of laughs that'll have your stomach doing backflips like it's training for the Olympics. Get ready for the funniest joke in town, a joke so hilarious, it's practically legendary. So, Grab hold of your sides and brace yourselves for the comedic journey of a lifetime. We're diving headfirst into a joke that'll have you snorting with laughter and clutching your belly in pure joy. It's the kind of joke that leaves you gasping for breath and begging for more. And hey, if you're prone to laughing fits, you might want to grab a tissue or two because this joke is guaranteed to have you in stitches. We're talking tears streaming down your face cheeks hurting from grinning ear to ear, and maybe even a few snorts thrown in for good measure. So, sit back, relax, and get ready to unleash those belly laughs because this joke is about to knock your socks off. One Monday morning, a nun approached the priest with a look of guilt etched on her face. Father, she began, her voice trembling slightly, I must confess, I did something quite sinful over the weekend. I... I was with a man. The priest, taken aback by her admission, tried to maintain his composure. My child, he said solemnly, such actions are gravely sinful. You must repent and seek forgiveness. The nun nodded as she awaited the priest's guidance. What should I do, father? She asked, her voice barely a whisper. With a sigh, the priest pondered for a moment before delivering his unusual remedy. Sister, he said with a hint of seriousness, I want you to go and eat a lemon immediately. Confused, the nun blinked in disbelief. Eat a lemon, Father? Will that cleanse me of my sins? She inquired, hoping for absolution. The priest shook his head slightly, a faint smirk tugging at the corners of his lips. No, my dear sister, he replied, a mischievous twinkle in his eye but it will wipe that smile off your face. <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.